Hello and welcome to Share Talk. Today I'm joined by Richard Lloyd, who is CEO of Monexia, which uh, runs the NR private market platform. Is that right, Richard? Absolutely. Well done, Zach. Yes, I'm not going to repeat that at the end, so uh, you'll have to remember that and uh, look after that. Right, today we've been sponsored by a well-known uh, shaving brand, because I think we're both uh, shaved, especially for this occasion, so uh, that's something to, to note down. But uh, uh, at the moment, the uh, stock market looking quite perky despite the uh, horrible um, pandemic uh, backdrop uh, and a lot of activity going on at uh, NR Private Market as well. And some decent names I've actually uh, today I interviewed Cornish, uh, Cornish Metals, uh, which was a very interesting company to interview, a very hot area uh, at the moment. But um, what else is going on uh, as far in your world, Richard? Yeah, we're, look, we're, we're seeing a lot of activity, as you say. I think the the unfortunate situation with the COVID uh, pandemic has broadened people's horizons on how they're going to raise money and what sort of vehicles they're using to invest or the, the analysis they're using to invest indeed. You, you've probably seen that with ShareTalk. Uh, we've certainly seen it through the platform as well. Um, so it's, it's sort of kicked people into the new age in terms of uh, gone off telephones and onto webinars and and chat rooms and all the rest of it and, and disruptive financing such as such as platform based. And any particular sectors? I mean, I was uh, there's so many, you've got so many people, uh, so many companies on your market stall at the moment. I've actually forgotten which one they are, but Cornish Metals is one of them. But you've got Altona, which I think I've interviewed previously as well. And so what's going on there? People are looking at your at, uh, NR private markets and saying, well, I like this, I'll put you know, X amount in this one, Y in that one. How's that going? Yeah, I mean, our investors, as I've said before, have to sign up and be sophisticated or high net worth. Um, we're not, due, due to our regulation, we're not allowed to do restricted retail, which is more the sort of general crowdfunding. There's a space for that as well. Um, so the Cornish Metals deal is a, is an IPO onto the AIM listing. Um, you just chatted through with Richard, I, I understand. So, you know, that's we're doing that alongside uh, Hannam Partners and SP Angel. They're doing the institutional, and we're doing a separate raise parallel to that for the private investor. Uh, I would say both sort of sophisticated and high net worth and outside of US and Canada for obvious reasons. Uh, yeah, Altona reached their funding target. They had a lot of interest from Europe. Uh, so we reopened that. That one closes this evening. Um, and we're looking at a lot of fintech and green tech deals. There's a lot of there's also a lot of interest out there from pharma and esports and all the rest of it. But we're we're learning to walk walk quickly before we can run. So the fintech and the green tech is is a nice overlap with the uh, with the mining sector. And you had uh, high recently as well, which I, I interviewed that company. I'd be rather busy actually, I have to say. Uh, so um, what, what's I mean in terms of is Cornish Metals is is the next one. What's the do you have a sort of a favourite at the moment, or how, how does that work? Well, we like the clean, so that the, the whole focus now, I mean, you wind the clock back to the 1700s, it was tin and it was copper and they were huge, you know, it was the world leading exporter of both. But now with the with battery technology, et cetera, and you've got Jeremy there with Cornish Lithium, it's all to do with the clean tech and, you know, new vehicles, et cetera. So that's seen the resurgence in the, in the tin price and lithium as well and, you know, everything surrounding it. Uh, Cornish's focus is going to be United Downs rather than as they initially went out to do to dewater South Crofty. I think getting United Downs going and then tackling the larger project is a much more sensible way of doing it, going about it. Well, and just uh, finally, um, you're you know you're you're a fintech platform yourself, and our and our uh, private market fintech platform. Uh, that normally is a code word for being disruptive. Uh, who are you disrupting, and uh, how do they feel about it? I think it's giving the investor access. Um, the brokers we're working on, certainly Hannon Partners and SP Angel, are, are welcoming us with, with open arms, uh, which is great. It's very encouraging. It's taken us a while to get here, but they see it as very complimentary, uh, especially in a deal such as um, Cornish Metals. Some brokers and, and, and some areas say, whoa, 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 we're not too sure about this, da 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 da. Um, maybe, you know. Some brokers or, or some outfits are a little bit more threatened by the by the disruptive nature of the financing. But uh, presumably in this current market, with, with I suppose there's been a boom almost since uh, April, March, April, since the lockdown started. Um, you've got all that liquidity in there and it's almost, uh, you know, the more capacity, the better. Is that right? 
Yeah, absolutely. And we're, you know, we're doing our own small raise at the moment as well at the Menexia level to expand our footprint and the sort of user experience, the IT, the speed of everything, and obviously trying to venture into more green tech and fintech deals because those are very popular. As you say, the high deal was was that was our first million pound deal, um, which is is pretty good going after eighteen months of trading. So we're pretty pretty pleased about that. Okay, on that note, uh, Richard Lloyd, CEO of Menexia, thank you very much indeed. Thank you, Zach. Take care.